All right, loser Democrat candidates getting rewarded for their incompetence by teaching your kids. Oh, it took Lori Lightfoot only <laughs> one term to run Chicago into the ground. And now she'll be teaching a health policy and leadership course mm. at Harvard. Former San Fran DA Chesa Boudin, he was recalled. He's going to start a new job at UC Berkeley after voters had enough of his radical soft on crime policies. And Hillary, or crooked as Jesse calls her, will be terrorizing students at Columbia University. Two-time loser Stacey Abrams joining the faculty of Howard University. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Jessica, why would anyone want to send their kids to college when all they do is shelter failed leftists? I think they do a little bit more than that. And do I they? think that there's something, yeah. I think there's a lot to be learned from people who have run for office, whether they won or lost, people who have had important jobs, whether you think that they did a great job or not. And I just have already defended the idea of having Hillary in that position and how much it's clear to me that everyone would want to sign up for that class and that is what happened. But like five days ago was Henry Kissinger's 100th birthday. All the glowing op-eds about his time. This is a man responsible for hundreds of thousands dead and millions more negatively impacted, if not dead, from the actions that he took. And people line up to hear him speak when he, when he does it. He doesn't do it as much anymore because he's 100 years old. So I don't want to hear anything about listening to Lori Lightfoot or Hillary Clinton or Chesa Boudin. And hopefully they'll be pushed as well to talk about things that worked and things that didn't work. Uh, what didn't work is their policies, especially in the case of Chicago and San Francisco. Look at the state those cities are in now. Again, both of them might be past the point of no return. So these are academics putting medals on the chests of bad generals. Mm. These stupid ideas came from places like Harvard. The social justice nonsense, the harm reduction policies, the, all the health care mumbo jumbo. De Blasio and, and Lori and all these losers, they glom onto it because it makes them sound smart and compassionate. They win on it. They enact these dumb policies and then they fail and then they lose. And so what Harvard has to do is they have to slap a crimson blazer on them. So there's not a lot of failed leftists hanging around with their hands out. You can't have a bunch of failed leftists uh, sitting around with the skeletons of all of these dumb academic policies that failed in the real world. You have to dress it up. It's like academic washing. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what about Hillary going to oh, Columbia? Oh, yes, Columbia. You know, it's like, why, why are people signing up for that class? She's a two-time presidential loser, and Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> well, and there are other things where that came from as well. We have talked about the Clinton Global Initiative. I mean, that would be one thing you could talk about. The thing about Dems losing is that they never go far, right? So if you think about Better O'Rourke, he ran against Ted Cruz. He lost that Senate race so badly, and then his next step was, you know what, I think I'm going to run for president now. And there was nobody batted an eye. Chester Boudin is going to run Cal Berkeley's Law Research and Advocacy Center. That was immediately after being recalled and run out of town. Um, then you had Stacey Abrams. She did tremendous damage to her cause, but she had a cause, and so she gets to have the T-shirt and get a big contract to write a book. She just wrote another novel. By the way, I suggested that as a Ooh. dramatic interpretation for Oops. the exclamation point show. <laughs> I guess my thoughts boil down to this, that winners get to make policies and losers go home, except for Democrats. They get to go to academia where they get sweet paychecks and brainwash your children. But academia is home to them. You're not yeah. seeing Mike Pence lecturing <laughs> on what it was like to be vice fair. president during a pandemic. It's, no, it's not fair. You could be a failed leftist and get fired, and you get to go to Harvard. Mm -hmm. I get fired. I'm at the University of Newsmax. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, Again, it's just repeating what you're saying. It's a benefit of leftism. It's like even if you were, you, there's always a lefty lily pad waiting for you, even when you're exposed as an intellectual fraud. You know, we will, if I lose my job, I'd probably end up on some board of a corporation, <laughs> maybe be a lobbyist of some kind. But they, uh, oh, I would be a great lobbyist. You would be a terrible I'd lobbyist. Why would you be good? Oh, because I would love the product. <laughs> oh, I know what you're lobbying for. <laughs> What are you Call lobbying me. for? So what oh, do you, like, like, a, like personal passion. Personal passion, exactly, exactly. But conservatives get jobs after they lose, too. Like, look at who's on K Street. 
Look who goes and runs conservative think tanks. Would you rather be on K Street or on Academia? K Street. Well, you'd make a lot more money on K Street, but Academia. What does you has actually have to, to work? It. And academia, you don't really have to work. Right. What is well, K and they give Street? speeches. The lobbyists, do. where you're going. Uh, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.